up, y'all? I said, what's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This is your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, bro. Before we get going on the video, y'all smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Share the video. Turn on your notifications. Um, and if you got a breakdown or a prediction that you want me to do, knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com is the email address. And also, please follow me on Twitter at koboxing 86 tv is the Twitter handle, but let's get it popping, y'all. Let's get into the video. And today, we got to talk about Earl Spence Jr., man. Damn, I thought I had water in that water bottle. I need another water. Shit. But Earl Spence Jr., man, he said he going to the Terrence Crawford fight. Terrence Crawford versus Sean Porter, that is. And he want the winner. Remember, he put a tweet out. He said, look, man, tune-ups. Tune-ups is for people that don't believe in themselves. I want to fight a champion next. Let's break it all down, bro. Listen, um, before we do, though, live show Wednesday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. So tomorrow night, Wednesday night, you want some boxing talk, 7.30 p.m. Central. I'll be right here going live, bro, talking boxing. Y'all got to come through, man. We interactive. We talk to the chat. All opinions are welcome. And you never know. I might open, I might, I might, I might throw the link in there, bro. I might throw the link in there and chop it up for the people. We did that last week. We did that last week. I might want to get y'all thoughts, bro. So please, 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 please come check out the live show tomorrow night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time every Wednesday. And then we got a second live show we do with the singing OG, KQKC Boxing Network, um, over um, Sundays, 9 a.m. Central. So subscribe to KQKC Boxing Network because we'll be live on his platform this Sunday. And we switch every Sunday, so be sure to subscribe to me as well. But let's get to it, bro. So Earl Spence Jr., says he wants the winner of Terrence Crawford and Sean Porter. He didn't actually say that, but I'm I'm interpreting it that way. I'm taking it that way, and that's what I'm holding him to, bro. And I'm a huge Earl Spence fan. I ain't going to lie to y'all. I'm from Dallas, Texas. He repped my city very, very hard. And Earl Spence, Virgil Ortiz, the Charlos, um, the young man Jesse Rodriguez, Josh Franco, um, man, if you from Texas, I rock with you, bro. I rock with you, but just because I like you don't mean I ain't going to keep it real and I ain't going to be objective. Just go watch my Charlo content. And a lot of y'all follow me that watch this video. Y'all know I'm, I'm going to keep it real whether I rock with you or not. And let me tell y'all something. Let me, let, me, let me get this out here for this whole Earl Spence situation. Fact number one, bro. You said you want to fight a champion. That's the type of fight you want back next. So I need you to fight a champion, which means... Basically, the winner of this Terrence Crawford or this Sean Porter fight, bro. That, that's really your only option. Well, why is that his only option, knockout? Because we know what's going on with your Dennis Ugas in the WBA, bro. Okay? They making that man fight. Uh, um, They making that man fight a whatchamacallit, bro. Uh, um, a, a tournament, a mandatory tournament. He got to fight Stanley Onis. Then if he beats Stanley Onis, or if Stanley Onis beat him, whoever win that fight, they got to fight Butaev, the guy that just beat Jamal James. And that's a tough-ass fight. Butaev can fight, by the way. Just thought I'd throw that out there. So with that being said, my brothers and sisters, that WBA belt is unavailable, bro, at least to the end of 2022. Maybe even 2023, if you think about how frequent these fighters fight, right? Butaev and Jamal James, Butaev is waiting. Ugas and um, Ugas and Stanionis got a fight. They they negotiated. Probably only got like a week left, or they gonna strip Ugas. So expect that fight to be done soon. Then boom, when that fight get done, unless Al Heyman, you know, pull the rabbit out of his hat and they allow Ugas to unify with Spence. But as for right now, the information that we have in front of us, Ugas got a fight Stanionis. When that fight get done, it's probably gonna happen sometime in January, February, March, or some shit. Then whoever win that fight, they're going to need some time off. Then what, five or six months later, the summer or the fall of 2022, they got to fight Butaev, bro. So WBA, unless you Earl Spencer, you're going to take two whole years, two and a half years off waiting on WBA. The only fight for you to keep your word because we holding you to your word. You, you ain't never let us down, bro. You ain't did everything you said you're going to do. The very next fight, if you want to fight a champion because the WBA – it's not available because they got that tournament going on at 147, even though I don't know why. Why they don't have a tournament going on at 160? Why is Murata able to unify with Triple G and Murata ain't fought in two years? 
WB, man, I digress, bro. But anyway, the WBA belt ain't available at 147 if you're Earl Smith Jr. So the only belt that's available is going to be the WBO belt. And that's the winner of Terrence Crawford and Sean Porter, bro. That, that's it. I, like, like, that's who you need to be fighting. The only other acceptable fight, based on Earl Spence's tweet, is if the WBC or the IBF come in and say, not so fast, my friend, you got a mandatory that you got to fight. It's the only way I won't criticize him, bro, is if they give him a mandatory that he got to oblige. Or if he fight the winner of Terrence Crawford and Sean Porter, bro. That that's it. Like, like that, that's that's it. That's all, bro. That's what his next fight gotta be. And I salute to him for chasing greatness, for for always, you know, behaving in the way of, of a champion where he wanna fight the best and he wanna um he wanna unify. He don't want no tune ups, cool, bro. So at this point in his career, unify or mandatory. That's how I want all champions to move. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit up here and make excuses for it. Now this question was asked to me too. And I want to address this because I, I hear people saying, well, no, nah, man, Crawford, no, nah, I don't want Crawford off, his, off uh, uh, fighting Spence. If Crawford knock out Porter or if Porter beat them, we don't want to see Spence, you know, fighting them straight off the eye injury, man, because that's, cause that's just going to make excuses. No. No, listen, who are we to play doctor, bro? Who are we to play doctor? Like, at the end of the day, if that man feel like he ready, we got to trust they team, this team to do their job, bro. It, why, why would we think that they lying, bro? If they say he ready, if the doctors say he ready, then you'll get no excuses from me, bro. You'll get no excuses from me if he go in there and Terrence Crawford beat his ass or Sean Porter beat his ass. If they say he ready, if he say he ready, all the protocols and all the checks and checkups and shit that they got to do and they say that man's eyes good, then he good, bro. We gotta trust that he good. We can't be we can't be trying to say, oh nah, bro, he wasn't really good. Let's get him a little tune up. Nah, bro, he said he don't want that. In the same way, I'm not gonna hold Virgil Ortiz back from saying he won't smoke with um Terrence Crawford. I ain't gonna hold, hold Jerome Boots in his back from saying he won't smoke with practically every damn body. I'm not gonna hold the unified champion back when we say, nah, I'm good, bro. Damn a tune up. Damn a tune up. Give me another champion. So look, bro. He said he was going to the fight. I expect to see him there. If he not there, we calling him out. Because that's what Earl said he going to do. He said he won't fight the winner. I expect him to do everything that he can to fight the winner of this Terrence Crawford Sean Porter fight, bro. Everything's coming to fruition. Terrence Crawford, by all accounts, this is his last fight under top rank. And so we finally get to see Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence, assuming Terrence Crawford could take care of business, bro. You will get no excuses from me if the fight happened and it don't go Earl Spence's way, bro. And I'm imploring all of Earl Spence's fans to behave and act the same way because y'all know what it is, bro. The man said he wanted, he should go get it. If Terrence Crawford beat Sean Porter, give him credit. Big up him because that just makes the fight even bigger and makes it even more likely that the fight going to happen. That's why I'm standing with it. So I want to get that message out there and make it clear, bro. I heard what Earl Spence Jr. said about he only want to fight champions next. He don't want no tune-up. Cool, bro. Ah, man, I'm 100% on board. So then your next fight needs to be the winner between Terrence Crawford and Sean Porter? Or it better be a mandatory because the WBC and the IBF is tripping. That's it. Anything else, we looking sideways at you on this channel, bro. And anything else. Anything else. And then the injury stuff, let's get that out. Whoever he fight next, bro. If it's Terrence Crawford and he win. If it's Sean Porter and he win. If they make him, if they make Virgil Ortiz his mandatory in the WBC and he got to fight him, whoever he fight, bro. If he in that ring, if the doctors say he can go, no excuses, bro. None. He ready to go. He gets full credit if he wins. And the other fighter will get full credit if they pull off the victory on Earl Spence. That's how we coming. That's how we going to continue to be, man. But y'all let me know y'all thoughts, man. Y'all, What y'all want to see from Earl Spence next? Now that it's looking like he's back. Now that it's looking like he's back in play. He's going to be back training. He looking for a fight. Who y'all want to see him fight next? Ugas is not an option, bro. If that changes, then you can put him in. The WBA is not an option right now. 
So you got other options. The winner of Terrence Crawford and, and Sean Porter, that should be everybody's answer. But if it's not, explain to me why. Or a mandatory fight. That's it. Those are the only two fights I want to see from him, bro. But y'all let me know y'all thoughts. Comment down below. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video. Turn on your notifications. If y'all want me on the panel, knockoutbox86 at yahoo.com is the email. That email is also good if you got a breakdown or a prediction you want me to do. Follow me on Twitter at koboxing86tv. Also, don't forget about our live show that we do every Wednesday night, 7.30 p.m. Central, 5.30 on the West Coast, 8.30 on the East Coast. I appreciate everybody watching the video. Enjoy the rest of your day. And with that, we out of here. Peace, y'all.